Okay, so I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to eliminate background noise and keyboard noise. Before we start setting it up, I'll give you a quick demonstration on how that works so you know what to expect. I also recommend using headphones while listening to this and while setting it up for yourself. That way you can hear more of that background noise. So right now my window's open, there's a fan on, quite a bit of background noise. Uh, and generally one more of the challenging things is eliminating the keyboard noise. Um, you may have tried this uh, with using a gate already, but you find that once you start talking, it picks up the keyboard sound again. So that's usually uh, not good enough. Um, so this is uh, what typing sounds like. So I'm typing right now, typing while talking. We'll turn the filter off. Okay, so this is the same typing while talking. You probably hear a lot more background noise right now. And we'll turn it back on. Okay, so typing again. All right, so let's get into how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download the VST plugins. Uh, if you go to this website here, it's just a free plugin. I'll also put a link in the description. And depending on your operating system, but you probably need the 64-bit version, so go ahead and click that. Save the file, run it, just leave everything checked. Uh, that should be the right path, so leave that alone and go ahead and install it. I already have it installed, so I'll move on from here. Okay, now that we have that installed, let's set it up. So what you want to do is go to your mic, click on the settings. I'm just going to do it on the second mic because I'm using that one to record. Go to filters, click the plus symbol. From the first drop down, select VST. And you can give the name if you like. We'll call it FIR. Done. In this drop down, you want to select REA FIR and then click the open below. Often this opens behind your main window, so if you can't find it, that's probably where it is. And then let's set this up. So on the mode, you want to switch this to subtract. That's going to subtract all the sound we don't want. Now once you click this checkbox, it's going to start listening and building a sound profile. So have all your background noise that would normally be there going, fan on, window open, and you can also type on your keyboard as well to uh, get that noise removed. Um, you might want to give it a good 10 seconds at least. We'll just do it for a few seconds to demonstrate and um, go from there. Okay, so now that that's done, that's it. You uncheck the box, it's done, it saved the profile, and uh, you can go ahead and close that. So that's about it. A quick and easy way to eliminate background noise. Hopefully that helped you out. If it did, a thumbs up would be appreciated, and subscribe for more videos like this coming soon. All right, thanks. Have a good one.